channel. I had the most eventful weekend like of my life, I feel like. Oh, um, that's not true. But if things go according to how I hope they will, then this will have been a monumental week in my life. All right, I'm on my phone because the battery died. But you guys know I've talked about how we're like not really looking for a house. Like if something came along, it'd be great. But like, it's just not seemed like something that would ever be realistic at the moment. And maybe it still isn't because I haven't gotten my pre-approval stuff back yet which I did a while ago, but like since doing my taxes this year, I just wanna like redo it so I could uh, get approved for more, I believe. You guys, I don't wanna speak too soon. Giselle and I pulled up to this house and we get out of the car. I don't even know if we were out of the car yet. And immediately we were like, okay, we were both like panicking. And I was like, I think we're gonna love it. I can just tell Giselle before we even got out of the car was like, I don't wanna get my hopes up. Like I'll get my hopes up. I've always been that way. I plan for plan A. If it doesn't work, then I deal with the disappointment and I'll figure it out. But like, I'm not a like not get my hopes up type of person. I'm like, go big and like you know hope for the best we walk in and this house it was perfect it is exactly what we've been looking for i can't even like think of anything wrong with it it just exceeded all expectations i had and so we were needless to say freaking out i'm not going to go into the most info about this right now i don't even know if this will work out but i really hope it does literally we left and i was like tearing up driving away from the house because i just felt like i could fully see like us living there so updates to come but we just submitted all of our info and stuff to get pre-approved for a loan and depending on how that comes back that will affect i guess if we can make an offer and like what offer we would be able to make because it's like we have like a good amount of some down payment available you know you guys know i've been talking for years about i'm saving for this down payment we just also have to be smart about what monthly like mortgage payment we would be able to afford you know what i mean so i feel like what we qualify for realistically we'd have to take a step down from in case of a rainy day or whatever because i ain't trying to lose my house one day when i ain't got some brand deals or something more info to come we will see God, is it the stress of owning a home already? <laughs> just kidding. For the archives, we just got approved for like the exact amount the house is listed for. So we're going to go in a little lower. Say a prayer. <laughs> Giselle's nervous. I have like, I have like, um, what's it called? Anxiety? Me too. Oh, I just <laughs> my tummy Oh no. It's excitement? I don't know, nerves. I think it's nerves. Like I said, we pulled up. Giselle was like, we can't get excited. And then I got home and she like, oh, the realtor just said, I asked her to keep me posted if they get other offers. And she said, of course we will. You are perfect for this house. I want you to get it. She said, so we want you to get it. Who is we? What if she's secretly on the house? I don't think she does. But <laughs> anyways, Giselle, we got home and she was like giving me a talking to about, you were like, well, we're not gonna get upset if we don't get it, right? And I was like, wrong. And also we're gonna get it though. So I'm not even thinking about it. So the whole time I've been confident, have I not? I've been very confident. Who are you talking to over there? That's more important than our home owning. Well, are you working on a side hustle now? No, I'm <laughs> sending the pre letters to my mom. Oh, okay. <laughs> you guys, I don't even have time to get ready right now. So pardon the, uh, the rolling out of bed experience. What a like whirlwind today alone has been. So as an update, we were pre-approved yesterday by the first lender that we were in contact with. So we were ready to make an offer this morning how well technically we could have but we um wanted to shop around you know for loans of this stature we got connected with another lender who actually late last night we're up late sending in all of our info to those and then here just a little bit ago got the numbers back from one of the two new ones we haven't heard from the second one i think we might just write her off one of the new guys just got back to us with a second pre-approval letter his rates were way better and like qualified us for a lot more now that we're trying to spend more. <laughs> Anyways, basically we now have two lending options. Fortunately, the details of that don't really have to be worked out yet. Like, you know, you're not like locking in the offer when you're making, or you're not locking in your loan um, when you're making the offer on the house. So we can still like figure out all the details later, but it's just good to know that we have options. But let me back you up a few hours <laughs> earlier this morning. I should have filmed a clip then so that you could see like just the emotional turbulence of today. We were doing some of our own Googling and discovered that basically this house was in a risk zone for a certain, not natural disaster, I don't know, a natural hazard risk area that seemed very high based on Google. <laughs> and so we were like, what the heck? So I'm trying to like do research everything i'm finding online is like on not very legit websites like that's the other thing it's not like these were like government websites so we're like 
getting disappointed. Our realtor was trying to get information on this, but I guess in California, which is different than North Carolina, I guess they don't have to give you the statement of like a natural hazard, whatever, disclosure statement. They don't have to give that to you until you're already in escrow, meaning you've already like made the offer and they've accepted it, which I think is just so weird. My parents have their um, real estate licenses in North and South Carolina and they were saying that that's not the case there. So basically the agent was just seeming a little sketchy. Like we're not gonna give this to you until we're in escrow, which made me think like, all right, well, it's obviously just gonna like back up what I found online. But then fast forward, she sent it to me anyway and was like, FYI, this is not standard to give this now, which again, whatever, you know, doing what I gotta do. <laughs> Hopefully not ruffling too many feathers, but she sent it and it's not in this hazard zone that we were led to believe it was. So now I've gone from yesterday thinking, you know, firmly believing we're gonna live in this house to, all right, so we had terrible decision to live in this house because it's just gonna like vanish and we're gonna be screwed and this is the worst decision ever and being sad because I've like already, you know, created all my hopes and dreams and visions around like living in this house. So I was brought down and now I'm brought back up because we're gonna make an offer, which I guess I can easily be brought back down if they don't. <laughs> accept our offer. So we'll see, we're going in a little low and we're gonna see what happens, I don't know. So stay tuned, but the offer is being submitted today. <laughs> counter, what is it? Counter. And then what deposit, what's the counter? Is that good? We're confused. Yeah, so. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, we'll give you the, uh, the details on Monday on how to uh, pay that uh, deposit. Whoa. I'm going to order the uh, inspection. Yay! Yeah. Congratulations. Yes! Wow! Yeah. This is first time, first offer, first try. Mm -hmm. You got it all. I was nervous. Yeah. All right, we are heading out now to our home inspection. Buying a house is a process, you guys. We did not realize like just how time consuming just everything is shopping for home insurance quotes, like doing, getting your loan figured out, which is like a whole ordeal for both of us, or me especially because I'm self-employed. It's been a lot of reading documents, but we're on to a more exciting task. Um, Giselle's driving us over to, again, the home inspection, the pest inspection, my aunt and uncle, just happened so all my family lives on the east coast they just happened to be in town this week so they're gonna meet us there right now um so that they can see the house and we're very excited because also now we get to go back and like see it just with like us there and not you know everybody else at the open house and the realtor and like trying to be sneaky about like taking videos and stuff i'm gonna get the content regular inspection, the pest inspection. We just saw a neighbor drive down the street. <laughs> Looked like a cute mom and a kid. Good area. We're finding so many little things that like. your heads up that inspections take like hours and hours did not know so our takeaways were first of all from the pest control guy that either there are termites or there used to be termites and like they just left their droppings behind or something I guess if they fumigated what do you say in the past like five years then we should be fine mm -hmm. but that it's possible that they're their evidence of them is just still there he didn't see any like real ones I think it was just the droppings right yeah 
but anyways um so we have to find out if it's been fumigated in the past however many years if not that's a problem secondly the regular inspection came back with one very major thing which is that like half the house basically i guess this is like done in two units again i don't know anything about any of this but like the heating and cooling and the hot water and whatever i guess half the house works and the other half so that is a giant issue now basically we have to figure out after all the official reports come in if like this is something that i mean i want them to freaking fix it i think that's the offer fix it or, or buy and then we'll go from there and i'll keep you guys updated but that was not very good news to find oh and there's a small section of the roof mm -hmm. that is not in like great condition so he was just saying we need to like be aware that we're probably gonna have to replace the roof in the next few years we don't know if you can fix a small section of it or if we got to do the whole thing we just have to go back to the table and figure out these things and also i'm so interested to see what the appraisal comes back for so we will see that as well but at least that's done giselle's tired we were there for like over three hours just just sitting there so <laughs> time passes real slowly <laughs> Do we buy a house? Are we engaged? Or are we moving out of state? And if you get it wrong, the yeah. is waiting for you. No. Oh. oh my god. So, Do you have to vote? <laughs> we bought a house, engaged, or moving out of state? <laughs> Morgan, this is the If you got water, then you were right. Ready? on the current state of affairs going a little bit south from a few days ago we were at the house again i think that's where i left off all was you know we're all happy we find a few things um that the inspector like notes in person but then we get the full report so many things are on it just something to be aware of that we learned from the inspection is that the other heater water heater and like air heater for the other half of the house is old as can be like it is past its life expectancies and are the ones that aren't working so they're gonna repair those they did agree to that like to be in working condition all the things that aren't working but like they're all so old like we're gonna have to replace them basically at like any time like time's taken on all of those so like that's just added expenses that like we expected we're gonna be you know working like this was like a flip and fully remodeled and turnkey condition which i guess like if they repair it technically it is so we needed to get the info on like if it had been fumigated and it doesn't seem like there's any knowledge of that at least from this guy who's flipped it so obviously we can't we don't know what happened before that which i always thought that was like termites for like a life or death like situation <laughs> like so serious i mean it is serious but like i thought it was this huge expensive thing to get fixed and the quote we got which was from the inspection company so we can go elsewhere and get it for lower but that's another thing on the list there's just like so many things we had to spend hours typing up this whole repair list sent it to them with all of that the appraisal came back and it is like seventy three thousand dollars lower than what we're under contract for so keep in mind they listed this even well above that because we got it at a good price so we got the appraised value they counter offered us with like their you know haphazard repairs that they're gonna fix and then still want to sell at ten thousand dollars above the appraised price other realtor he's friends with the seller he's like well the seller's losing money and i'm like well even if that were true that's your bad like that's you know business you make money you lose money it's not our responsibility to make up your losses like we should be getting the home for the value that it's supposed to be not you know padding your pocket for your fake losses like i'm just really frustrated both of us are additionally this clip is so long but i don't know if people actually care about all these details but i've just really learned a lot through this process so the listing agent was the one who had to give us access to the house and the inspection was scheduled so while we're there and the listing agent is there the other day i overheard him tell the inspection guy so who we've hired like he's working 
for our party. He tells him that he has 20 minutes to wrap it up because he was taking too long because there were 7 million things he was having to make note of. That like really bothered me where I'm like, we have the right to the inspection that's in our contract as a contingency and you're trying to rush the inspection or like cut it short. Scammy behavior, you know what I mean? This whole thing again is just like such an emotional process. Like we told our friends, like we've been so excited because all seemed like said and done and great. This is a lesson for if this one doesn't work out for the future to not get my hopes set on something just because like we're under contract and all seems like grand because a lot of surprises could actually come back. So that's what has been learned here. But at this point, it's also like just so frustrating. Like I've already had the call with the moving company to like get my moving quote. Like I've already been planning brand deal concepts around like, you know, celebrating having a house, like just all these things that now I know to not count on in the future. All of that combined and just like my own personal excitement and like seeing this and like seeing seeing myself living in this house, like I'm actually gonna be upset. Like I could actually cry thinking about it. <laughs> this is so much fun, right? Okay, anyways, that's the update. We just countered back to their counter again, asking for the house at the appraisal price, cause that's ridiculous. Like houses in that area are not selling above appraised value right now. It's not that hot of a market. They're saying they're not gonna deal with the termites. That's our, our job. So we're saying, no, it's not. That's your job. That's just that. And we might have to walk away, so. hoping this is not gonna backfire, but we are putting in our 30 days, even though we haven't closed on the place yet. There's, I guess, potential for something else bad to happen that could just screw us really big, but it seems like everything's worked out. We're trying to get our new closing date, which may or may not be delayed because of everything that's been going on and all of the repairs and whatever. So this is making it official and we're gonna hope and pray that this <laughs> there are no more surprises at this stage. making a celebratory cocktail. <laughs> I think it's a little strong by the looks of that. We just signed. It is officially official. There were a hundred times I thought we were not going to get to this point. <laughs> oh, but after all the frustration, it's, it's been worth it. But you said from the moment we walked into that open house, even with all my doubt, you said you're going to get what you want. It's delusional confidence for me. <laughs> Anyways, it worked out. Thanks for watching this vlog. Moving vlogs are coming up. I cannot believe it. We got to get to packing. Did you just spill that? This. Look at this cocktail. Literally to the brim. I pulled a U. Anyways, we're going to watch the challenge and celebrate from the couch. Yay.